with a two-point lead already at the top of the table and the prospect of a good performance here today against the Ospreys. The Guardians of the Crypt could find themselves in a really good position heading into round nine where they, for the first time, will face up against one of their fellow subscriber sides. That is next week, the All Flakes versus the Guardians. But for now, for today, they are up against the Ospreys in this cracking night matchup. We've seen the Ospreys already perform well above their weight in this competition. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the subscriber series, the Global Rugby Challenge, where our three subscriber sides go head to head with the best clubs around the globe. Today it is the Guardians of the Crib up against the Ospreys and here is your starting 15 for the Guardians of the Crib. Owen Fagan, Maximus Wilder and Ivan Ferryland will line up along the front row. Andrew McFannon will be alongside Ronan Calvert in the second row. Edward O'Brien, Mike Hunt on the open side and Finley Wilcox will partner along the back row for the Guardians. A very, very good looking pack for this matchup. Into the back line, this always good performing Luke Bendel, who will start a scrum half. Luke and Neos outside him at fly half into the centres. It's Pierre Valentine and Shane O'Sullivan. It's David Sloan on the left wing and Ruby Floyd on the right with Jacob Hill lining up at the number 15 jumper for the All Flakes. A very strong side for this matchup against the slippery banana skin that has proven to already be the Ospreys. And here is the Osprey side for this matchup. Again, strong as they can really put out on the field with the Welsh superstar from the most recent Rugby World Cup, Dan Bigger, lining up in the number 10 jumper. He's going to be massive if this team, once again, will perform above their weight. Defence will be massive. We've seen the Guardians. They like to attack and they know how to score tries. For the Ospreys, though, you look at their recent performances against the subscriber sides. 3-0 is all they went down to, to the All Flakes. And then 21-7 against the Corn Flakers. Good displays from the Osprey side who know how to put a good match together. Can they do it again against the Guardians? Should be a cracker. Let's get down. Kickoff looks set to go. We are at halfway. Guardians through the kicking off in the red and white. It is Ospreys, of course, in the black. Round eight of the Global Rugby Challenge. Set to get underway. Now it kicks off and we are good to go. Long, deep kickoff from the Oaks and he finds it down there. Leonard and Ruby nice. Floyd wraps him up like a Christmas present. What a seasonal topical. Really, what a run here, though. Running Romans Jones. And the offloaders, Release. another couple of metres for them. The Ospreys already making their way out of their territory. Leonard inside, ball nicely, finding Walker. Release. And we know how much of a danger Eli Walker can be. Off the back goes Allen. Keeping it tight, looking to force his way through. Now they go Ben back to Walker. Jones directing a lot of the play. Here's again another run from Allen. And a speed of the high shots. That's not what you want to see from the Guardians. They want to keep things very, very controlled out there. They give away the first penalty. And Dan Bigger will step up and smash this one into touch. Steady kick, straight as you like, into touch on the full. No questions, only answers from Dan Bigger so far. Line out coming for Perry. Seven man line out this one. To the front they go, and uh, no surprise, Elliman Jones. Wide for bigger. Some room out here, through they go. Bank with the option. He goes to the skies. Out there waiting is Dirksen with him. The ball has flown everywhere. Wow, what on earth happened there? David Sloan is the one getting pinged here for a knock on, I presume. Wow. He did a very good effort to even get to that ball that high in the air. Superman like powers from David Sloan as he flies very high. Almost an unseen thing as the Osprey scrum gets a good hit. Dirksen finds room. He cuts it back and feels nicely. Allen. Oh, O'Sullivan. Turn over ball. Oh, Floyd goes to no one. Dreadful play. Here's a chance. Gotta be no. I think they have saved the day here, the Guardians. And it will be in the second row, Ronan Calvert. 
who smashes this into touch. Not much distance on that, but safety is found with the touchline. Wow, big mistake from Ruby Floyd out on the right wing. Hughes having a man outside him. Almost cost them here as they go to the back. No chance at all there as Dibrick climbs high, pulls it down for the Ospreys. They look out to Leonard. Runs the play nicely for Beck with numbers. Numbers again, but Dirks of an early. Should have backed it. Oh, he's got it anyway. Oh, he cuts back in. Spectacular start from Dirksen. Oh, the Guardians concede the opening try. Wow, what a play from the Ospreys. Have a look at this. What a run. Out wide, Dirksen went to Bishop, I think, and Dan Bigger. Who else to perform the magic back to Dirksen? This is a great try. Well worked. Very well established. It was two, three on one. Here's the tackle from Valentine. Oh, it did slow down the run from a bigger, but not enough to get the offload. And Dirksen says, thank you very much. Try time Ospreys. Here is the man himself. Dan Bigot, 19 minutes on the clock. Strikes his kick, looks straight as an arrow, looks good for two. It is 7-0, the Ospreys leading the Guardians here, round eight of the Global Rugby Challenge. Back to halfway they go. This is not something the Guardians are used to at all. Not the build-up they'll want for their big clash versus the All Flakes next week. Up they go. O'Sullivan nicely done. Stone into O'Brien. He charges through a couple of tackles. He gets a few friends. Gets the ball back. Oh, nice work. Wilcox beautifully away for Valentine. Looking to make up the mistake. Ruby Floyd. Oh, the old firm. The combo from way back when the team first started. Valentine and Floyd. There we go, those two know how to work together we've seen it so often from valentine and floyd and it is just roll back the clock roll back the tapes because that's another try ruby floyd he scored a pile already give him another one that's a cracker good pass from the oaks as well to find valentine great tackle at the back from Manavesi. But no chance of stopping the banded wonder that is Ruby Floyd. So the try is replied by the Guardians almost instantly as well. Very, very quick reply. And now David Sloan, no stranger to scoring a boatload of points if given the opportunity. Here he comes, steps up, hits this beautiful flat kick. Oh my goodness, David Sloan. That was a stunning kick. Pure, pure power. Just blasted it. Straight between the sticks. We are all tied up. Just six minutes on for the first try. It is 7-7. Guardians, the Ospreys, all tied up. Kick off back underway. And O'Brien does well to go to Hunt. Here's Neos. Neos through the middle. He can't let go. Oh, great defense. But a spectacular run from Luca Neos. Here's Finley Wilcox, away to Sloan. Sloan tries to charge through. Pulled down eventually. Bendel waits, the ball comes back now. Neox back ready to attack. Valentine, Valentine! Almost threw himself. He's a bit wrapped up, and Walker turns the ball over. Goes to Bishop, who cuts it back, and Perry. Oh, Floyd! Oh, Floyd's gone the wrong way! What a dreadful play, but he's already got the try. Ferryland's there to help clean up, and the Guardians might turn this ball over. Now they get it back, Bindle. Neos has been so destructive. Valentine looks, oh, he's thrown it forward. McFadden gets the ball off the forward pass. Valentine has been so, so elusive already in this match. Look at Neos as well. Crouch. Has to take some credit Crouch. for how this team is operating. Here. Scrum to pack down for the Ospreys. Brennan Leonard feeds the ball. Steady scrum from his team as well. Looking to secure this possession. And they do so. Leonard. Options left and right. Goes to the right. Gets it away. Bishop Stone is work to do here on Dirksen. And he just does enough. Oh, O'Sullivan. Great work from the outside centre. 
Fagan's there to play scum half. McFadden away to Neos. Bad ball, but he gets it away to Valentine. Valentine over the top, he jumps. Manavese is gone. Oh, Pierre Valentine. What a try. The Guardians pull off something out of the top shelf for their second try. Well, we've seen some absolute classics from the top shelf from all these sides. But Pierre Valentine, what a classy try. Straight through the middle. The defence couldn't keep up. And it goes all the way. Over there to Minavesi. And try time Guardians. Look at Neos. How did he get that away? I'm not sure. But it's try time anyway. Pierre Valentine. And the tackle of Brendan Leonard. And the chase from Eli Walker. No chance. He is in the Frenchman. Great work. Some real flair. So they take the lead for just the first time in this matchup, the Guardians. They'll look to make it seven through the boots of the wonder kicker here. David Sloan, one and many. Oh, there's full half time as well. That didn't take long. This game has been entertaining. And the half time whistle goes 14 7 the scoreline. The Guardians of the crib lead the Ospreys 14 7. What a half of rugby it's been. Righty ho, let's get into some statistics and we have the Guardians well and truly on top. Not only the seven points on the scoreboard, but look at these possession and territory stats. 61 and 77 both going to the Guardians. Handling here is proving a bit of a problem. 7 to 1. The line break stat, surprisingly I might say, 3 to 3. Both sides making the 3 each, so that's very interesting. The Ospreys have had just as many chances, have not put them away. The tackle count very close as well, but in the end, there's only one that matters. As 14 7 to the Guardians, can they pile on the pressure and pull away a five point victory, which will go a long way to making them sleep easy, getting into their big clash against the All Flakes. Well, Dan Bigger guided his team very well right from the outset. Has been a bit overshadowed as that half wore on, but kick off underway and pulled in from Wilcox again. Hey, Fagan's knocked it on. He gives it a little niggle through, and the Ospreys do. Advantage over. Go to his plan, and they pick that one up. It's his, oh, it's Wilder who intercepts a Valentine. Oh, chopped down in a great tackle. But what a dreadful pass from Lewis. The Ospreys get it back as they try to run it away through Jones. Now some room. Here's Griffiths. Gets the pass away to Big. Big goes again. And they go over the top. Fagan Stone have worked it on Dirksen. But eventually it is the fullback, Jacob Hill, who pulls it in. Lewis, the blindside flanker for the Ospreys, has been involved heavily. A couple little passage there, there. As now Sloan hammers this one. Gleefully away from his own line. It's the dummy. Oh, he just about brought it. Now they've got Woods to Walker. Oh, that's a Release. good tackle on Bigger. It all breaks down for the Ospreys. So I'll reset though. Wide. Again, it's Darkson on Stone. See you later. Here's another chance. But a great saving tackle. Jacob Hill. Darkson has been an absolute menace on the right. Stone has not handled him too well. Line outs for... The Guardians, seven man, McFadden to the front, Bendel, fires right to Neos, oh Neos comes through, his support Dan Calvin, fires it to no one, and it is Beck who picks up the loose Please. pass, another handling mistake from the Guardians. Now they look for width again, looking to get out that wing of Dirksen, it's bigger, good tackle though coming in from Neos. Leonard, oh, width on that to Beck. Here's some trouble again. But it's Alan Jones on Ruby Floyd. Release. There is no chance of getting through there. They reset. Tipperick. Release. Tries to force his way through. Griffiths. Pops a short line now. Alan Jones gets rid of Mike Hunt. Just shrugs him away. This is great period from the Ospreys on attack. Beck driven backwards. This could be turnover ball. The Ospreys looking, searching. They get the ball as well. Fagan. Valentine. So good today, Valentine. Stone gets through one. Can't get rid of the second though. Valentine first man on hand to secure this ball. Great work from the centre. O'Sullivan hasn't done much yet. Fagan. Fagan held up. Good tackle. Wrapping him up from behind from Allen. Quickly recycle ball though for Bendel. Bendel! 
Had a bit of a look. Where now? Where was it? Wilcox. Oh, Sullivan. Nice ball to Nows. Hands through to Nows. Hangs through now. He's a danger. He's a real danger. He gets up though. Throws it away. McFadden. Here's Wilder. Max was Wilder. Getting away himself. Somehow throws it out the back door. And Stinkham picks it up. Now the Ospreys. Look to take the other way. And it's out to Eli Walker. Take it from Nows. Bishop running through. Oh, that's a great off run again. This could be a try to Lewis. Oh, the Ospreys. They are back in the left hand corner. Oh, Lewis, we talked about him minutes ago, but he is too fast for his opposite Edward O'Brien. And in for the try goes Sam Lewis. Well, some spectacular play from the Ospreys. There was the final passage right there, but it began very, very far before the back than that. The reward comes your way, there's Eli Walker. Thought it might have broken down there, but they did a fantastic job. Six on six, a speed race between the blindsiders. And it is the Ospreys who have a chance to pull it all back even with this conversion. Big pressure on a man who eats it for breakfast. In world rugby these days, there's very few men you'd put your house on to get a kick like this. And one of them stand bigger for that very reason. Wow. No pressure at all. Look at that. Cool as the cucumber, as they say. We all know cucumbers. Very cool indeed. 14 minutes to go on the clock here. The Guardian should have scored an absolute flurry of tries. They've had chance after chance. It's up they go. Oh, big hit there from Beck. But Hamilton to touch from a second wave of defence. Five men line out called here from the Guardians. 12 on the clock. And it goes. Oh, it's, that's not straight. That is not straight. Big mistake there from Maximus Wilder. When his team, team really needed something from him. He's given away possession. Crouch. Touch. The Ospreys of 10 to go. Set. We'll look for what they have relied on in this match. Their scrum has been very good. Leonard feeds. Oh, this is some outstanding scrummaging from these two sides. Absolute stalemate, Leonard. Goes to bigger. Somehow offloads in the tackle. Then a big who sweeps aside O'Sullivan. Release. Numbers here for the Guardians though. Can they find the ball? No. Recycled from Alan Jones. Back in field from Perry. They're advantage. going from side to side. It's advantage Ospreys. Oh, that's a killer time for an advantage. They still offload. Valentine makes a tackle. Fired back to bigger. He kicks us away and it is advantage over. Four minutes on the clock. Sloan's there, Wilder and Toe, not the two you really want, but Freddie Wilcox, here we go, he's away on the 22, he's got to put the strength on, no, he's got to put the strength in, he's done it as well, but this could be a killer, well you get a penalty like this, time is ticking and look what they've done, the Guardians, now we talked about pressure earlier, with Dan Bigger. Now it's David Sloan. There is so much pressure. Hits the kick to win the game. Oh, David Sloan, the hero of the Guardians. 17-14. The buzzer goes as the kick sails between the uprights. There is full time. We got the prediction. Dead on. The Ospreys are the banana skin of the competition. But once again, the subscriber sides have just done enough. 17-14. What a match. Not the confidence builder. The Guardians were really looking for heading into this cracker in round nine, but they will take every lick of a point they can get their hands on. Not the five, they just managed the four, but I think they are very, very lucky to get the four they indeed do get. Two tries apiece, two conversions, and of course, one penalty just to the Guardians. Valentine and Floyd, well, those two have been very good for the Guardians this season. They get a try apiece. Sloan converts them both and adds the winning penalty. 
What a matchup! What an outstanding fixture we have witnessed here today. What a cracker of a match for the Ospreys. No surprise here. We said at the start, they were the team that just punched far beyond their weight, played better than they should do on paper. But that is what we love about sport. The Ospreys, Lewis and Dirksen, how amazing was Dirksen in that first half. Bigger took over through the middle stages of the second. Lewis was a machine, a monster in the first period of the second half. But the 14 points were from the two tries and two bigger conversions. What a matchup that was. Full time stats and possession, amazingly. Ospreys turned it around. A huge amount of possession in the second half where they were knocking, knocking, knocking on the door. They didn't get it then, but it was their counter attack from a long way out that pulled that second try that really put the cat among the pigeons. As the territory, the Guardians had that wrapped up all day long. 65% to 35 for the Ospreys. One high tackle beats ultimately losing the match for the Ospreys. That last high tackle from Brendan Leonard. The line break stat 5 to 7. The Ospreys actually got more line breaks than the Guardians. Can you believe it? Not very often we've said that this season. Win is a win. That's all that matters for the Guardians. They take their lead further. Four points up. Six points at the conclusion of this game. Let's see where they stand. Heading in to round nine. All right, so an absolute stunning match up there as we just watched. The Guardians just pipping the Ospreys 17-14. A couple of matches since taking place. The Waratahs 29-15 over Bath. And the Stormers going down to Munster, wrapping up round eight. Just two matches for round nine as well. The Flakers up against the Glasgow Warriors and the All Flakes against the Guardians. That's the big one. But first, of course, we have the team of the week to come from round eight. There are two matches, the All Flakes thumping Glasgow 45-0 at this classic ripper from the Guardian 17-14 over Ospreys. Now get your votes in, let me know who you think was the best performing player from those two matches, even the match we just watched today. And of course don't forget before it's too late to get your vote in, in the straw poll for the try of the week for round 7 as well. So that is points very valuable in the bank for the Guardians. Let's have a look at the standings. Yes, their lead is up to six points over the All Flakes, who they meet in round nine. The Guardians the only team not to have a buy out of our three subscriber sides, and one of only five sides yet to have a buy as well. But they have those bonus points, those five bonus points. Only the Flakers have more than six out of the three sides, but of course, they lost to the All Flakes as well. So 31 points for the All Flakes, 30 for the Flakers. So much water still to go under this Global Rugby Challenge bridge. So stick around for the rest of the season. The Guardians will be celebrating, but the Flakers know that the All Flakes absolutely destroyed the Glasgow Warriors, and they'll be hoping to do the same and pick up five points for their table points. Now, can they do it? We'll find out next time. But until then, thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you enjoyed this match, give the video a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here as well. And until next time, thank you all for watching, and take care.